What's up, everyone? My name is Seth, and I am one of the co-founders here at Dropin. Today, I'm just making a quick video walking through the dashboard and showing you how to set up your first campaign. When you log into the dashboard, you'll notice it is very minimal and very simple. We designed Dropin to be super intuitive. First, you'll see your campaign lists. This will list all the different campaigns that are active. And from here, you have a few options. You can view your campaign, you can update your campaign, or you can delete a campaign. Getting started on Dropin requires you to do two things before you can create a campaign. The first thing you do when you log on to Dropin is you integrate with a cloud partner. As of right now, we have Google Drive and Dropbox. And the reason for that is we store the content in your Google Drive or your Dropbox in real time. So you'll have to integrate. And then the second thing you'll have to do is set up your reward types. These are the rewards that you're going to be offering in exchange for user generated content. So if you're a coffee brand, you can create an award that says free coffee. If you're a wine brand, you can offer a free bottle of wine. And the cool thing about this page is that you can add as many as you'd like. You can play around with them. You can delete them. Uh, and very soon we will have an integration with Shopify where you'll be able to pull in the coupon as well. Once you have set up your Google Drive integration or your Dropbox integration and you have set up your reward types, now you are ready to go and make a campaign. On the top right, you'll notice there's a create button. When you click on that create button, a pop up will open. On the right hand side, you're going to select a reward. So for this, let's pretend we're a company that sells wine and we're going to offer a free bottle of wine for users that generate epic user generated content. So first we're going to title the campaign. Next, we're going to add the brief. Now this is going to instruct your customers on how to get this reward. It's important that you add, uh, information here that is descriptive and clearly describes how they can get the reward. Send us a video of you drinking a glass of our wine and we will send you a free bottle of wine. Hurry, this is a super limited offer. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is add an image. And this image is going to show to the customer when they click on the link. And it's also going to be the image that shows uh, on social media and other platforms when you share it publicly. For this, I'm just going to quickly find something because I do not have an image ready for this. So I'm just going to select this random image. Once you have uploaded your image, you're going to click on create. Now, You've created your first campaign. It was super easy and we provide you with a short link. This is the short link that you're going to advertise. You're going to send it to your audience, wherever they are. If it's through email, if it's through social media, if it's through SMS, you're going to blast this out and you're going to want customers to click on it. When they click on it, they're going to see this. Now keep in mind, everything is mobile first. Uh, this is designed for mobile, but for this demonstration, I am going to show you on desktop. So when the customer lands on the page, they're going to see the instructions. Send us a video of you drinking a glass of our wine, and we will send you a free bottle of wine. Hurry, this is a super limited offer. And just imagine this banner image is of a beautiful wine bottle. Next, it shows how it works. And when the customer clicks on the next page, they're going to provide their information, their Instagram username, you can collect their phone number and then the customer is going to upload a video. I'm just uploading a random video. Once the customer uploads the video, they're going to give their uh, consent that you can use their content. And when they click on submit, it's going to upload. Now, two things are going to happen here. The first thing is that content is now going to be stored on your cloud partner, if it's Google Drive or Dropbox. And then the second thing is that content is now going to go straight into your uh, drop in dashboard. We're going to go into the campaign and view it. When you click on view, you're going to be brought to now your campaign screen. So this screen is specific for campaigns. And here you're going to be able to see that content. 
Just imagine that someone drinking a bottle of wine. Now, we wanted to make sure this was foolproof because some people could abuse the system and just send you random images to get a, get a, uh, to get a reward. So we give you the option to accept or reject videos. So if you don't like it, you could reject it. If you like it, you could award it. And this message that you write here is going to be emailed to them automatically. So you're going to say, hey, your video was amazing uh, and funny. Please use coupon no, blah, blah for a free bottle. And then that, oh, there we go, sorry. And then now it goes into the awarded uh, pile. And that's how you create user-generated content on scale. Not only is this going to help you create more content, but it's going to strengthen your brand relationship with your customer. It's going to increase your engagement and it's going to incentivize them to come back to your store and spend more. You can create whatever type of reward you want. You can be super creative and it's just a really good way to increase sales, happiness, and not have to pay exuberant agency fees to go and create fabricated content.